Hi everybody, Ryan Horn from ryanstechtips.com. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a couple different ways students can submit or turn in assignments in Schoology. Let's take a look at the student side, the student view of Schoology. So I'm logged in as a student here in Schoology and for this video demonstration, I'm using a Chromebook. So this is going to look a little different if you're trying to use the mobile app or just a tiny bit different if you're trying to use a Chrome web browser on a laptop or a computer. Step one, the students need to make sure that they have the Google Drive resource app installed in their Schoology. It's gonna help them easily submit assignments. So to do that, single click the resources tab on the top. And once the resource page in Schoology loads, you're going to wanna to have your students single click the apps button down here on the left. And what we're looking for is to see if the Google Drive resource app is installed. And you can see on this computer, the Google Drive resource app is installed. If you don't see this here on your list, you can single click install apps and click I agree, and then go ahead and click the Google Drive resource app here and then press install. So we're good to go. We have the Google Drive resource app installed. Let's take a look at how the submission of assignments actually looks in Schoology and what options we have. So we're gonna visit one of my practice courses and we'll pull open, let's open up the sample assignments folder by single clicking it. First, let's take a look at an assignment that the teacher did not give a Google Doc template. The teacher is allowing the students to turn in anything that they've created. Maybe it's a Google Doc that the students made, um, maybe the student's recording some video or audio. There's different ways students can turn something in. So you can see the, the assignment here and what the teacher is looking for. So this type of assignment, the students simply click the Submit Assignment button on the right, single click that. And these are the choices the students have on what they can turn in. Uploads the first choice. And there's some icons down here. If the student single clicks the file, option. This is where if you're using a PC or a laptop or a Mac, you will get into your hard drive and you can attach the document that you have saved. There's the create button. This is an easy one-stop shop. If students want to do a text submission, they can type in their text here. And this is a rich text editor. You can see the different buttons. And if you hover over the buttons, it tells you what they do. In the insert content, there's even a place where students can embed images or videos or links. The students can save their work here or submit it. And the last option, for this example, I have a Google Doc and I, I wanna turn it in. I, I made a Google Doc about the water cycle. How do I find it? Well, I single click resources. I do not see the Google Doc I made anywhere over here on the right. So I'm going to single click the apps button and I'm, it's automatically looking in the Google Drive resource app now, I'm logged in as a student. I, I only have a couple documents in my Google Drive. Some of you will have a ton of documents and you're gonna have to scroll, scroll. There's no way in Schoology that Google allows you to sort these A to Z or Z to A. It doesn't even allow you to look at your folders. So you're gonna wanna get to know the search Google Drive button up here to type in what you're looking for. And that will help narrow down your results. When you find the document you want, this is what I wanna turn in. I'm gonna single click the box to the left, select it. And then I'm gonna come over here to the import button and single click import. And I'm gonna import that file. So select the document and then the import button appears. Go to import and we're gonna import that file. It's going to upload my document to Schoology. Give it just a few seconds to finish doing that. If you exit out, you're gonna to have to do it again. Here's what it's gonna look like when your document is uploaded. It's uploaded up. Oh, I missed the due date here, so you'll notice my assignment is late. This is what it looks like from the student side, okay? Just like this, it's been now turned in. Now let's take a look at the second type of assignment that a teacher might assign. In this example, the teacher has created a Google Doc, in this case, Google Slides, and the teacher is giving a copy of these slides to all students so they can each have their own copy to turn in. So let's open up this assignment and 
compare it to how the previous assignment looked for students when they had their option of what to submit. Now with this style of assignment, when the teacher provided a copy of a Google document, you'll notice there's no submit button over here on the right. And the only way to find that copy of the document the teacher's providing is if the students single click the My Document button over here on the top of their screen. So when the student clicks My Document, it'll have the student's first and last name. A couple buttons over here on the right, I'm not ready to submit this yet because I haven't done any work to this document. And the teacher in this example made some Google Slides and gave each student a copy of these slides. And what the student can do, it's still loading here in the student view, the students can actually edit this work from right inside Schoology. Down here, This they can edit the slides directly in Schoology. They can click on the slides to maneuver around them or the students can click the edit button if they want to open up these slides or the Google Doc, whatever the teacher provides, in a new tab, and they can edit the slides that way or edit the Google document that way. Okay, so let's say the student did their work. They were only assigned one slide, the Mercury slide, and they, they added their text and their link, and the student's ready to submit their assignment. What do they do? Well, now they can click Submit here on this screen. Are you sure you want to submit this assignment? Yes, Submit. Give it a second to load, and it says it's done. And now this assignment has been submitted to the teacher. You'll see a note over here. This assignment has not been graded. If the student needed to work on it some more, they could click Unsubmit and get back and get their work done. So. Those are two ways that students can submit assignments in Schoology. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.